Okay, gang, we've achieved a lot. I feel like now it's time to look back. I want to do a full-size run, the memoir, you know, our journey. Trinidad, what, what do you really want to be remembered for? What What's important to you with this project? The cover. I mean, we'll all be on the cover, obviously. No, I want to be on the cover. I think for me, the most important thing is just kind of capturing all the research I've done, all the hard work, how much I made people laugh, kind of how I was like the star, the, the, the one who held everything together. Shut up with that self-important nonsense. What people really want to know is how I put them onto Adidas, how I convinced them to do exercise, Go off, how I made them feel comfortable enough to show their true hairline, and that's it. And? Are you forgetting anything? I didn't forget anything. Nothing that like people really know you for, that's like your go-to thing? Have you ever asked anyone what they might do? If they've worn Adidas ZX 8000? No! We're taking you off the cover. All right. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan. And done. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James, ladies and gentlemen. And we have with us here today, Megan Rapino. She is a two-time World Cup champion. She is a published author and she is a Nike athlete. Megan, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. Hey, we are hey, so Megan excited House. to talk about your sneaker history. The first thing we want to talk about though, the shoes everyone has on feet. So wealthy, the world is dying to know what are you wearing? These are Adidas. these are my favorite like all-time shoe ever. I just, they're okay. like a little beat up. You can see like I, I wear them all the time i have got all the colors but these these ones are just like you can literally wear them with everything they're so comfortable they're cool like they're just are we playing soccer in those megan ah uh, it's got a bit of a tall heel so this you, you puts you in some ankle danger but okay we don't want that if if i had to i could yes do you do you have any <laughs> sneakers that like you couldn't resist the urge to kick the ball and you just completely torch them and you get mad at yourself later on no i don't really do the sports outside of the sports i just like <laughs> okay. i just like leave okay. the sports you know just here so you don't get fined yeah exactly i just yeah I, I messed up a pair of boots the other day i was playing with sue's little nieces i didn't even really think about it. we were playing in the grass and i looked down my boots were all messed up but that's all right oh, man. for the kids you know for the kids, for the kids. <laughs> for the kids. doing adidas Again, this time, doing the sneaker politics, ex Adidas form low. Shout out to Derek Curry. Good guy. Okay, I hear you. Today, guys, I got to do it for Kobe. Um, we're doing the Kobe 5 prelude pack joints. Um, this is probably my favorite Kobe 5 ever. I'm um, very happy. Just I got these from my mom's house. Very random. Shout out to your mom for coming through. I am doing Reeboks once again. Classic leather. We got the Reebok Hot Ones collaboration still going, so still supporting the home team on that one. Let's talk sneaker news. The first thing I want to discuss is the Naomi Osaka Comme des Garçons Nike Blazer collaboration. I know we're all excited about this one. Megan, I got to ask, when is your sneaker coming out? We, we've seen some cleats. Dan Levy needs to get this deal done. That's when is that I'm happening? Saying. It's, it's, in the, it's in the pipeline. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, let it's, me it's get this. Pipeline? Let me get this well i mean it's in my pipeline it's gonna be in the <laughs> i'm bringing in that pipeline everywhere it's gonna it's gonna be there eventually that's what i'm saying i'm like give me a pe give it to yeah. me yeah what, what shoe would it be i do love a blazer a lot okay. Same. i don't know if i want high top or low top i don't know we're gonna have to see i'm gonna have to see all the silhouettes and see get with the designer see what i can work with we need to set that up Super proud of her with this getting the shoe though. I think that um, I love her story from you know coming on the scene and overcoming just like you know being the being the athlete that she is, you know being so humble, but on that tennis court though, like she's no game, and being able to like now you know bring her own style like and bring it to real life. I think it's really dope. You know, so, so she have a shoe and it's a collab with CDG. It's like this is amazing. This is pretty amazing. It's fire. <laughs> it's fire. Yeah, definitely, she has a big career ahead of her. Uh, next bit of sneaker news came out this morning supreme purchased for the second time in a few years by vf corp over 2.1 billion possibly megan i know you have the supreme hat that you wear in the airport to kind of hide yeah 
hide the dome <laughs> yeah. a little bit. But yeah. Are you a big Supreme fan overall? I do like Supreme, yeah. I mean, it's so difficult to get. Like, I'm not, I don't know, like, how to get on the things early and do all the stuff. You like, never I love it. No, not at an actual store. I'm like, that's crazy. That's like, I do like it, but that was wild. I saw this morning. It's over two with the big bees. Yeah. Is this going to be like weird for people with Supreme? I feel like Supreme is just like a cult following and like it's got this like, you know, low key profile, but obviously they, you know, do all these wild things. Is this like selling out? Is people, are people no, going to think that? I don't think so. I'm I, like, I make, think they're still make safe. Make money. They say that Supreme still has um, creative control over the brand. Well, two billion comes in is the fact that the reach, you know, when big businesses take on something like Supreme, that is so, so like coveted and like, you know, we hold it in high regards as far as like the streetwear community and all the resellers all around the world, not even just here in America. You know, for us, it's personal because we came up with it like Supreme, you know, shout out to James Jebbia, who is like, you know, the creator and founder of it. You know, they started, you know, like out the trunk, like they started that type of vibe. So to see it become something that like anytime suits get involved people be like eh you just gotta kinda let time tell you know the, the first sale for 500 million was like oh my and the, the resale yeah. market is still crazy but this one for 2 billion oh, you just gotta see how it affects the resale market you know so to all my resellers out there they're gonna be the ones who really show us if this is something that affects it or not I mean listen uh, the price of the brick just went up and I've never seen a brick but that's what that's what they're saying so but I, hopefully the price of the box logos go up too because I'm still holding on to a couple of those. Okay. I mean, I just know if anybody has offered me $2 billion or something, I'm taking it. I'm like, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm like, take the money and run. I'm going to hold you to that now. Just about anything. Just about anything. I was like, you got two bills on you. That's, that's a lot. So, Meg, you know, let's talk some sneakers. You know, there's a classic photo of, Ale of you holding some Jordan 11s. Um... When you're young with the long hair, you know, looking like the kid that you are, is that where sneakers started for you? Where did your appreciation for sneakers, where did they come from? Who bought you those? Was it a parent thing? Was it a brother, sister thing? What's up? Yeah, yeah. I think my mom got those for me. I was like, just shut up, mom. Cra I know. Crazy Michael Jordan <laughs> fan growing up. Like, I love the okay. Bulls. I mean, I was like, grew up in the perfect era for the Bulls. Like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. they were just dominant in every way. Michael Jordan was right. just everything, like, so swaggy. Like, there was just nothing like him at the time. There was nobody doing that. Like, he had the tongue out, and he just kind of, like, did things his way. And, you know, Rodman getting on the team. Like, the whole thing was just amazing. Correct. So, I wasn't even, like, crazy into sneakers, but I was, like, into Jordan. And those ones are just the coolest. Like, outside of the ones, I'm like, those are just the coolest sneakers ever. Like, you put the patent leather on a shoe. Like, that, that I don't know. They were just so cool. Yeah, I'm a sucker for patent leather myself. You still have Were you playing basketball in them immediately? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm sure I, like, put them on and started playing me. I just got, uh, actually, another pair. And I don't have the same ones, but uh, oh, I definitely okay. I play. Like, oh, I know. I wish. I, I was <laughs> shoving my foot in there. I definitely play play in the shoes, though. I feel like you got to wear your sneakers. Amen. Were you into any other brands when you were growing up? Not really, no. I, uh, I've definitely, like, rocked with Nike for a long time. I'm like, oh, sure, I had other shoes and stuff. I know you went to University of Portland, big up the pilots. When, when you went there the first time, there was a Nike tournament going on, a soccer tournament, and you kind of saw the sportswear industry happening. I want to know, when you got to Portland, did you feel like you were closer to Nike? Did you feel like you could go to campus someday or like a deal was possible in your future? It definitely felt closer because we would go to campus a couple times a year. Like people would come out and just being, you know, that close and being a school that was sponsored by them. You know, you get all the gear and, and everything mm -hmm. like that. And it was just cool, like, to walk on campus for the first time and all the buildings and, you know, all the statues. Like, it's just, it's a pretty dope place. I don't think I really thought, like, during college, like, oh, I'm going to get this Nike deal. It wasn't but in the cards for you at that point? Not really. I didn't even really think about it. I mean, I guess later on I did, towards the end of college. Like, you got to, you know, you got to wear something. Oh. You got to, like, wear cleats on your feet. So, yeah, I'm definitely thinking about it now, though. My, my contract's up soon, so... I'm going, going hey, back to him. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm like, mm. So when you ended up signing to Nike, like officially, like what was that like? What was the experience? It was like kind of chill and surreal at the same time. Like obviously my deal wasn't, you know, one of these, you know, crazy basketball guy deals that, that you see. So with the big bees, it wasn't that right, much. Right, right, right. But it was still just like kind of amazing. Just like right. I'm from a pretty small town and I never really thought even just to myself i never thought like oh i'm gonna you know 
be where I am today. I just kind of like plodded along and, you know, I was like, I wanted to be a professional athlete, but I probably wanted to be like Michael Jordan or something, but obviously that was, that was never going to happen. So it just sort of <laughs> happened that way. But yeah, like looking back, it was like, this is like kind of a childhood dream come true. Like you got a Nike deal, like you're, you're with Nike, like you're a Nike athlete. It's still to this day. I feel like I just get like a giggle out of it. Like it's just still but always surreal and very cool. Were you just happy to like, just have the deal at first rather than think about like what the contract was or, or anything just like to be like a kid at the table i'm sure i was still wanted it to be bigger at the time but... the big bees <laughs> but that, <laughs> I think that, was it megan that yeah, was yeah, yeah. just what they're offering i think my first one was maybe like 25 or 30 grand a year or something mm -hmm. like when right did you first sign to nike right out of high school or right out of college uh 2009 maybe okay but then you upgraded in 2016. You wrote in the book that you got a deal that was basically eighty thousand dollars a year for the next four years. So, like we said, the deal is up right now. We're going back. All right, all right, Nike. If you watch, deals up. Deals up. It's 2020, I, baby. Deals up, and I think I've been underpaid. So. Okay. We need a yeah. couple more Rolexes. Yeah, we need we need some more some more zeros attached to that or something. Being a Nike athlete, though, and also you know being to the Olympics, World Cup, you know, what are some of those perks of being on the women's national team? As far as like, you know, a lot of times you get like these sneaker packs that are like super crazy that are only for the athletes. Mm -hmm. um, what are some things that you kind of like? I was able to get a pair of the Dior's, the high, the high Dior's when those drop. I mean, the fact that like Nike boxes just show up and it's free and they just like keep coming. <laughs> it's like ridiculous, you know? It's always exciting. It always feels like Christmas. That kind of stuff is dope. Like, and even just when you go on campus, there's all kinds of closets oh. everywhere. They, they just like have stuff everywhere. You know, everyone like... Amen has like different, you know, different PEs that you would never see anywhere. It's probably like one of one because right. they're the designer or whatever. But it, being able to like get the cool stuff early and like it's kind of like easy in a way. Otherwise, I, I don't even know if I could figure out how to get on and get to, get to the sites early enough and like find the drops and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm very thankful for that. It's a huge choice. Nike, Nike prints its own money so they can do yeah. whatever they want. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when you're getting the stuff early, do you have to ask for it or does it just show up? Sometimes a little of both. Like if I if I know that I really want something, uh, then I'll like specifically ask for it to try to make sure that I get it. But a lot of times things just show up. Like some things I love, some of the more like clunky Jordans, like the basketball sneakers are like, I didn't really grow up wearing them all that much. So I look down, they just, I feel like my foot looks huge. It doesn't really. I know the feeling, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. like I need like a, like a sleeker. So I like love the blazers, love the sleaker. Jordan ones. Yeah, I need right. a sleeker sneaker. A slicker yeah. sneaker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sleeker sneaker. That's so good. Have you ever felt tempted to resell any of those sneakers that you don't like? Not real. Again, I'm like, how do I even do it? I guess you. Just we can like, help you out, Megan. If, yeah, if you, you need can, some help you with can that, help we, out. we got yeah. some people. A, a little bit. Sometimes I do feel like that. Oh, like give them to friends or something, and like everyone, you know, if if you're not a Nike athlete, obviously, like you, you're thrilled to to get free shoes and like the cool stuff. So give it to friends or. Uh, my sister, actually, my twin sister doesn't wear the same size shoe as me. That's a big tragedy for her because she would have been, <laughs> she would have been laced at this point. All right, Megan, I gotta ask. You mentioned PE pairs. I know in December 2019, Nike had that crazy pink pair of cleats made for you. How much input do you have on designs like that? That was actually a big surprise. So I didn't have uh, any any input on oh. that one. I would love to have nice. input. Yeah, I, yeah, it was really, it was cool. They had like a, a big old box and yeah, kind of like a dope unveiling. So that was really special. Uh, they surprised me with that one, but I love designing. I, I love fashion and all that kind of stuff. So if I ever got the chance to, to be behind the scenes with the creative team, that would just be amazing. Got to put that in the new deal. I know, I'm like, get me in there. Random, qu <laughs> Random question, Meg, I must ask. Do you still have the cliques that you scored your first goal in? You know, I'm so bad at all that stuff. Like, I think, especially when I was younger, I was just, you know, you're moving around and like, you don't want to just like drag all this stuff with you. So I just didn't really keep a lot of it. I'm sure I could go back and look like which ones they were. Sue's really good about it. She keeps, honestly, she's too good about it. She keeps everything. She's got like, every pair of shoes she's ever worn like every jersey but I, I i'm trying to keep a little bit more now 
Um, but but I don't have the the first ones, unfortunately. Megan, we had Allison Felix on the show, who was a former Nike athlete, and she had the talks with Nike to change the policy towards compensating pregnant women. Obviously, you've been very vocal at the forefront of equal pay on the U.S. women's soccer team. You said that you have your your contract negotiations coming up. Have you had any sort of equal pay talks with Nike? Yeah, no, I, I think they definitely <laughs> know where where I stand on certain things I, I think too just it's important to change I think the paradigm of how we even think about female athletes it seems like what they're doing with Naomi is like the right way it's almost like you need to just tell people what is cool so you need to like build the brand around women and like basically put women on the same level as men so then that signals to the general public like oh they're the same you know if like the hottest sneaker comes out and only LeBron James and only Naomi Osaka has it then you're like oh damn Naomi Osaka's like big like we obviously know LeBron's big but like oh right. then you're like oh she's she's like right up there and that like kind of signals to everyone I mean at this point it's like I'm not gonna you know we're talking about equal pay I'm obviously not gonna you know get a LeBron deal or you know make 30 million dollars a year for we need the billion we need the billion we yeah, said it at the top the, of the show yeah we need the billion so it, but I think it's about kind of like changing the narrative. So what I've seen from Nike, you know, over the course, even someone like Serena, like Serena should have had a way bigger deal than she had. And they should have done so much more with her throughout her entire career. Like at one point she won the Australian Open while pregnant and there wasn't a huge maternity line to follow that. Like that's mm -hmm. crazy. That's a huge, you know, portion of the market that you're just not selling to. So I, I think they hopefully have learned their lesson there. And it seems like what they're doing with Osaka could be something really dope. Like she should have a rolling line. Like she should have PE, PEs out all the time. She should do collaborations. I think that's more important as we start to talk about equal pay. It's not just about the dollars. It's about kind of changing the whole landscape for everybody. Right, right. Understandable. You brought up Sue earlier and you guys just got engaged. So that's amazing. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. you know, throw the confetti, the rice and everything. <laughs> I, ma I marry people, so if you need somebody to marry you, I got oh. you. <laughs> you're both in the sneakers, and you're both signed to Nike. I got to ask you two questions. The first question is who has the better sneaker plug? The second question is who has the better sneaker closet? I think it's, unfortunately for me, I think it's Sue on both. Her sneaker closet definitely is, like, way better than mine. She's got more. She keeps more, too, and, like, she pretty much predominantly just like wears sneakers, whereas like I got like loafers and boots and like tells me. Got a lot of Celine of loafers, right? Yeah, I do. Right. I do love those Celine loafers. I love Celine. Yeah, God, Celine. they're a good brand. We kind of have the same plug, but she can wear so much more. Like going back to what I said about like the shoes looking big on my feet. Like sometimes right. I'm just like, she got I basketball don't... feet. She got, got basketball you. feet, and like her style <laughs> just suits a little bit more. So. Yeah, she's she's right. definitely uh, definitely got got one up on me on that one. All right, all right, all right. It's respect. Yeah. Megan, I want to talk a little bit more about the book One Life. This is out now. I don't want to take away from your moment too much here, but we also just published a book, the Complex Sneakers book, and I'm wondering. I'm pretty sure you're going to hit the New York Times bestseller list. I don't have any worries about that, but can you give us any promo tips in terms of how we can get on the list? Like, what do I need to be doing right now? I don't even know how all this works. I think you need to get uh, famous people to like tweet about it. Like Oprah okay. needs to get in there and read the book. We need to get Oprah and some Nikes or something, get her in there, read the book. Is there uh, any way you can send Oprah a copy? Do you know Oprah? Yeah, we, we, yeah let's just send it to her. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't know Oprah. Yeah, yeah. Get her in the book club. I don't know really either, but I'm like, yeah, we can like, or like yeah. send it to like the Obamas or something. Maybe get Kamala Harris yes. like putting a, putting, you know, having her sneakers up with her little like chucks that she wears and she's be reading the book. I'm writing all this down. We need to send it yeah. to Kamala. V. Listen, Megan, <laughs> every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week, as decided by the oh, YouTube God. commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. Yeah. Usually it's me. I am so happy to announce that it's Trinidad this week for disrespecting the Nike Air Max 90. This is a skip for me. This is a skip for me. Um, I don't think I've ever bought this shoe with my own money. Whose money were I'm you buying it with, among other things? So I guess he bolted off the set here to go find a replacement pair of shoes. Um, um, yeah, it's, this never happens, Megan. This is really this is really something special, but it's not me, so. You're witnessing this history. This so never happens, I had to go find them. This is what I'm wearing. <laughs> All right, this is what I had to do. God, hey. Put the boots on. Throw on some, throw on some on, cowboy guys. boots. Yeehaw. Hey, man, the boots are made for walking. All right? And for worst day. That's just what they'll do. And for worst day. Amen. My dear. Megan, so we also do a segment on the show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Drip meaning it looks good. 
-hmm. Flip meaning that you will resell it, and skip meaning that you don't mess with it at all. The first shoe in Drift Flipper Skip is going to be something you might like, Megan. The Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle. Drip. Love it. You already got, you already got to see the colorway. No, waste yeah. no time. I okay. haven't worn mine yet. I have them. They're, they're over in this box. Closely. A little I haven't, flex? I haven't okay. worn them yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on it. Did I love you get them before Sue? I think we got them at the same time. Yeah. Okay. That does bye, sometimes bye. happen where, like, for whatever reason, one of us will get something or it comes earlier and we're always like... Yeah, like, damn, you got those? I didn't get those yet. Like, yeah, it's always a, it's better if we just both get them. You know, I gotta say, this is looking too cartoonish to me. Um, it, it looks like Nike kind of just made a Balenciaga triple S here. This, I'm Balenciaga ride on my like, I love this is one waffle I can't uh. stomach. Bill Bowerman didn't die for this, so I'm calling it a skip. <laughs> Woo, this guy. Uh, wealthy sir, please tell me some more. Drift flipper skip. I wanted to like this at first. I thought it would have been a good quarantine, go to the store sort of shoe, but like the <laughs> what the, go to the, the, <laughs> go, what? the 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 duck bill on the back doesn't do it for me. Okay, I got you. This colorway that we're looking at right now that might not be my favorite colorway, but the green ones um, sign me up. I'm here for it. It's a drip. It's a big drip. What are we talking about here? Yeah. Moving forward, shoe number two. We have the Nike Air Presto, the USA edition. Uh, Megan on my sax, how do you feel about the Prestos? Drip flipper skip, but yeah. You know, when the Prestos first came out, I was like, these are like my favorite. They were so comfortable and like Same you just slip you. right in. So I think they're drippy. Yeah, you get the USA version, like that's dope. Yeah, I really like these Presto fan. It also, it's cool that it just looks like a, you know, unreleased PE version that you'd have to be someone special to get, like a two time World Cup winner. So, drip. All right, uh, Brendan, talk to me. Um, listen, this is America, baby. This is America, baby. This is, this is America, America, baby, baby. But I'm still putting that symbol on timeout for a little bit, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a knee barefoot. Oh Lord, you and these knees, sir. <laughs> um, I can't go against the press though. I was getting ready to say some crazy shit. It's a drip. <laughs> it's a we will we'll never a, know. We'll never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh-uh. Right now, the, the fans are on me. I can't take any more of these worst takes. I only can take one a season. Moving forward, shoe number three. I love these ahead of time, guys. You can get my photo up top there. Big freaking drip, that green pair. But making a must strip flipper skip and the Bape undefeated ZX8000 Adidas. I think I gotta skip it. I, yeah, I don't... Understandable, understandable. No, make like it, green, make it like contractual green, obligations. But... Listen, <laughs> yeah. this is the this is the renegotiation right here. If you if you say drip, then Nike might be a little, you know, I'm they like, might. Oh, these are hot. Yeah. I like the green better, but maybe the greens yeah. I would flip, but the blacks I gotta skip them. Well, I must ask, you are Mr. ZX. Big, big, big drip. Shout out Benny the Butcher in the in the promo ad for these. These are amazing. The green pair, as I said, are a must have. The butch is coming. There's a lot of ZX sneakers I still need, but uh, this one isn't it. I am still going eight, but it just might be at the zoo with Ray J. Wow. Yeah, this is, once again, I'm just to reiterate how I feel. Those green ones are a drip. The black ones, I will give away a million times over. The green <laughs> ones are a drip. I'm going to find them this week, actually. I love that shoe. That's a great shoe. Really great shoe. Uh, Megan, we also do outfits on this segment. And um, it's no outfits better to do. Them big rapino outfits right now. Oh dear. Okay, oh. young Megan, young Megan, number one. Let's go. We we talked about it earlier. We must show the people. Full circle. I do love the Cowboys too. That's, that, that I was about to say Cowboys. Okay. That, that was America's team till you know Jerry went all crazy on everyone. You guys be all racist right. about everything. But the sh oh, just the eleven was so good. I mean, I'm thrilled in this picture. I just got everything on. I love. I think I'm the coolest thing ever. Like this was a this was a great day. I think this might have been Christmas right. or something. This was a great day. Oh yeah. I oh, love yeah. that. I mean, this is like a one of those pictures they used to put in the yeah. last dance like documentary, like pictures of fans with Jordan. So like, this is so it. good. Young Ma Barker. Young Ma <laughs> Barker, yeah. Young little crazy town. Uh Brendan, talk to me. Drip flipper skips. So. I mean, listen, hair parted with the barber's preciseness. That's a drip. That's just good parenting. That's yeah. <laughs> Extremely wholesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh Welty, talk to me. Yeah, I mean, this this is like it, just nostalgic. I think everyone's had this feeling as a kid. Big Christmas energy, so trip. Mm, 
my Christmas energy. Yeah. I think that uh, the, that black Cowboys exclusive sweater, like that that colorway, like okay, to, like to, the style. He matched the whole thing the up. You ma- had the whole you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, it's a drip. Like, you know, it's a drip. I'm all about it. Now let's, let's, let's spruce it up a little bit. Number two, Big Dior, Megan. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. You know, I was a little, I didn't have my full closet in the bubble when I was with Sue, so I just wanted to point that out. But You're making some excuses, some <laughs> caveats, yeah. some asterisks on this one. I was making some caveats. <laughs> I was just going to throw that out there. But I do love the Dior. And they're just really nice. Super clean. Super they're dope. Clean. Yeah. So I, I must ask because, hey, it's the show. Drip, flip, or skip, Megan. I mean, I think it's drippy, you know, but I'm probably just really confident, I guess, and don't wanna don't wanna skip myself. But I think you got I think you got the Dior's. You gotta go. You gotta go drip on that. If I'm coming anywhere near the vicinity of owning this shoe, it's a flip. You know, like it's like a, okay. a down okay. payment on a house. So yeah, <laughs> it's true. true. <laughs> Yeah, the current tax bracket I'm in, I gotta flip these as well, and that's no disrespect to Megan. But before I do, I'm taking one long. <laughs> sniff of that Italian leather, just to know what it feels like. Boy, 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 you need help. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's the Dior's. Uh, you got the pink hair flowing. I'm going drip. Simple as that. Simple man. Last but not least, in outfits. Captain Morgan legs, CDG chucks. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's going on? Tell me what's happening here. This is a deep. Man, some, what's up? There's some big. Are we something, stretching? There's what's some up? big something energy going on here. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> I do. Uh, I do like a long, a long cut. I might have to just skip it. It's the calf for me. Yeah, it's. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I'm trying to be an Instagram like model, and I'm like, it's not, not easy, Megan. It's not easy. <laughs> I've been there so me. many times before. Extremely relatable, Megan. I'm, I'm skipping yes. with you. I'm, I'm right there. I've been, I've been around town trying to get your girlfriend to take nice photos of you, and it just can't figure it's it like- out. Yeah, the, I have to agree it's a skip. The converse with the hearts, uh, I just can't do that in good conscience. So, just skip. <laughs> I mean, well, I know you guys really hard. Y'all really hard on yourselves, but uh, I'm going to take that leg and we're going to go drip, okay? And we're going to take that leg pose. Anytime my leg can get up that far to take <laughs> anybody's picture, photo shoot or iPhone, I'm going to feel like I am that motherfucker. So I'm going drip. I appreciate that. Thank you. Before we get out of here for the day, we want to breeze to the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. <laughs> We have one from Anthony saying, great episode. Just want to say that Welty looks really, really great with his hair grown out. Welty, getting a lot of points for that. Yeah. Woo. Cut it a little short, but... Mm. You might have to think about the pink. <laughs> we have 500 Degrees saying, I've watched the show for years now, and every time I tell my girlfriend I'm watching Full Size Run, she always says, what is that? I gotta say, it's the show with Trinidad James, the guy with the mustache, and the old white dude. And then she remembers. LOL. Sorry, Welty. You gotta love her. <laughs> We have one more from Ian Forster saying the best show on YouTube and any other platform. Can't believe the show hasn't gotten millions of viewers. Um, we are working on that once Oprah and Kamala Harris get on board. I'm sure we will be well Woo! on our way. This has been yeah, another no episode bombs. of Full Size Run. Yeah, we need the Obamas too. I am your co-host Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James. And this was Megan Rapino with us. Remember, go buy that book. Yeah, go buy that book. One life. Come on, go buy that book. She won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. Ah, another episode, here we are. We got another hit, Trinidad. How do you feel about it? Incredible. Guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we love you and we do. you love us. Yeah, there's another button we need you hit, the download button. Download the Soul Collector app. It is the best marketplace for finding the best prices on all the sneakers you're looking for. But speaking of marketplaces, go to shop.complex.com and buy all the merch, all the gear, everything you want. We All we ask is so precious little. Give us all the money.